Welcome back to another episode of Rogue Tech. So today I've got some couple things planned. First of all, I want to let you know where we are now. So if we go to the star map real quick, we've moved from our last planet. Um, and what we've done is we've moved from uh, Novo Tresida and we've moved towards the front line here. So we're, we're at Trisnadal Cluster. I'm hoping I'm pronouncing that right. But we're sitting here right now. We're getting ready to move on the Free Worlds League and these planets here. But before we do that, uh, I think what I want to do is currently my mechs are kind of in a state of disarray. I'm not really happy with all of the layouts. The Warhammer is working great. We just got a new Orion. We've got a Black Knight. I really want to get these things up and running. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spend today's episode refitting everybody here. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do, first of all, I'm going to pull the Warhammer completely out of, of um, like we're going to strip all this gear off him. So let's do that first. We're going to do a bunch of gear stripping first, and then we're going to rebuild from the ground up. I've got a couple of ideas of what I want to do. So the Warhammer's gear is going to move over to the Orion, because I want to use the Orion as my command mech. So we're going to just strip the gear off this guy, and we're going to confirm this. Now between this episode and the last episode, I've done a couple things. Uh, one is I sold a bunch of our gear that we weren't using. And I pulled off a really quick two skull mission here on this planet just to get a little bit of extra working cash because we're going to definitely need it for the next financial report. Plus, we're also going to need it for refitting all these mechs. So I just did that real quick. It was a very basic mission. Uh, we didn't get really anything out of it, but, you know, it was enough to, to at least give us some funds to work with today. So the next thing I want to do is I want to pull the Kentaro. We're going to refit this. So we're not going to have the Kentaro in our main lance anymore. I've decided that the Kentaro is going to move down to the second lance and it's going to replace the Trebuchet 5S as a close range mech. This is the one that Jasper has been piloting. I haven't been ha happy with the way Jasper's mech has been and has been functioning so this is the new mech he's going to have. It's got plenty of missile hard points and it's going to be a short range boat rather than the long range boat we have it right now. So we're going to strip the gear off this and just confirm this. So I'm hoping to have all Clan XL engines on my main lance. That's going to also solve the problem that we're having with the catapult. Okay. So let's get started now. We've got enough to start working with stuff here. We want to get the Warhammer and the Orion back and running. So let's work on the Orion first. We're going to refit this guy. First thing we want to do is install our PPCs. I would definitely want to keep this guy as a long range boat. I don't want to move into a, a, any kind of close range with this guy. You know, command mech and stuff. We want him as a long range boat. So we're going to take those guys off. And we're going to go to equipment real quick. Um, I'm also going to lower the engine that he had on here. So we're going to put two arm weapon things back in. Then what we're going to do is we're going to move down and grab our clan. Where are we here? Clan Endo Steel. We're going to put that back in. <coughs> Excuse me here. Uh, we need definitely the PPC capacitor back in, so let's drop that in. We want to have our plus three energy, uh, which needs to go in somewhere, probably in the CT for now. And let's see here. We might want this. I'm going to drop this in for now because we're going to have some missile launchers in here as well. Okay, so uh, we, have a, we have two double heatsink kits. First thing we're going to do is we're going to lower the engine on this guy. Um, before I forget, let's also add our three exchangers back in and the Clan XL engine. Uh, so we were going to go down to a, a 225 core. Now it's it's a couple of, about two and a half tons lighter than the other core that we were running. We were running the 250 before. So we're going to do that and we're going to double heat sink this guy up. So let's do this. And then we're going to add our Clan double heat sink back in to make it even. We've got two cooling pods that we definitely want to add in here. There's no, there's no more cooling pods in the store, unfortunately, but uh, we'll just drop those in. So let's go to weapons now. I want to see where we're at here. We may not be able to run with the command cockpit on this guy. It's nice. We have a bonus accuracy with an indirect fire, two injuries resisted, and two increased resolve gain. So it is a very, very nice cockpit. The plus one accuracy from the other, and the breacher from the other cockpit was nice too. Uh, before we forget, let's max out the armor. Definitely want to do that. Let's just lower this part here till we get to be 49 and a half. Okay, so laser weapons. Let's go down to our clan ERPPCs, which is right here. We're gonna drop those back in the arms. Then what I wanna do is go to the missile launchers. 
because this guy does have three missile hard points. What I want to do now is grab those clan LRM-15s that we pulled off the Kentaro and put one in each arm and then grab the clan 20 and drop it inside torso. So we're getting pretty close to running out of space here. We're missing our gyro and then we can drop some ammo in this guy and figure out the rest from there. So let's go to equipment again and we need to go down to our extra light gyro which is... I'm thinking we're going to need to change that cockpit too though unfortunately. Um, gyro starts with G, XL gyro, we're going to drop that in here, it won't fit. Let's move this one out and now we can drop it in. There we go. Uh, we don't have endo steel in here. I'm thinking we... C I don't know if we'll be able to run with clan endo steel. Let's try that though. Uh, we do have one clan endo steel, right? Clan ferro fibrous, yeah. So we'll drop that in. So we've got what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven spots left. So that's not too bad. So let's look at what we got here. So it looks like we're looking pretty good here. Gonna drop a few more things off the back armor. Heat efficiency's starting to drop, but we have to remember though that the PPC is adding another 714 heat, I believe. So it's 45 heat, another nine, another 18 heat to this. So Alpha Strike is 79, 89, 97 for an Alpha Strike. So it's pretty hot, this mech. Uh, we could drop in, well first let's get the ammo in. We're definitely going to need lots of ammo for these LRMs. We're firing 50 rounds per volley if we fire everything. So we have two choices. One, we can decide to go with an Artemis system, which I think is three tons, but and uh, LRM Artemis ammo. Or we can decide to go with the dead fire and go close in. But I'm thinking probably, since we this mech usually stays at a good distance because it's going to be slow, thinking we probably want to go with the Artemis. So let's go look at equipment here really quick. We can take out this missile because that won't work with the Artemis system. And we can drop in the Artemis, which is two tons. We'll put that in. And then we want to go back to weapons and ammo. We're going to grab our Artemis ammo. LRM, which is up here, right here. Here we go. So we're going to drop our Artemis ammo in and let's see how much this is going to give us here. So this is two, four, six, eight, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. About ten turns of firing with four tons of ammo. If I've done my math correctly. Yeah, it's ten turns of firing. 120, 120, 120, and 140. That's 500. So ten turns of firing. I'm wondering if that's not going to be enough. Wonder if I need one more ton and put a and put some case in here. We do have case, case two, and that's one ton. Maybe what we do is we put the case two in. We put one more ton of ammo. Although we could shift out the command cockpit. And we don't have an ECM in here yet either. So that's the other thing. I'd like to have an ECM in here. Um, see, the command cockpit is six tons, right? It's twice the weight. So if we do go back to the breaching regular command um, cockpit, that'll give us three more tons. We can drop our ECM warfare suite back in. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe that's going to be better. With the increased chance to hit, I mean, I'm not going to get any resisted energy or, or resisted uh, injuries or resolve gain plus bonus sight distance, but we haven't, that's not really been an issue yet. And we don't do a lot of indirect fire, so let's do that. Let's put our regular TC cockpit in. We can move our energy up into the head. You see a more frere suite we don't have room for now. Let me think about this now. Do we need the pharaoh? If we take the pharaoh back out, that gives us the space. ECM's three tons though. Hmm. Maybe we go with an inferior ECM. Uh, 
Interesting. I don't know what we're going to do here. I think heat-wise we're probably okay. What can we lose though? Nothing really. So let's go back up to our clan endo steel and put that back in. I mean we could we could drop some back armor. But when we're punching above our weight, we really don't want to do that. So before we forget, we wanted to add another ton of LRM ammo since we've got the case and the torso now. So let's grab that and drop it in here. One and a half tons left. So if we... Hmm, ECM is what, one and a half, right? No, one ton. That'll give us a ton and a half left and no space. Could drop in... I can only got one slot left. See, this is where we're running into some tricky issues here. Uh, we need three tons for this. I mean, I could run without the case. But we still don't have enough space. I could, have, I could take the case and the LRM ammo out and see how we do with ten turns. So if we do that, add our ECM Warfare Suite back in. We're still a ton and a half under. The other thing we can do is we can pull the Artemis system out. Go back to the regular. This is what, two tons though? We're not really gaining anything that way though. We're getting a little bit of space, but that's about it. If we pull this out, we are overweight. Hmm. Ton and a half, eh? Well, I guess I mean. Do we need the clan LRM twenty? I guess we. I mean, we should run the LRM tw clan LRM twenty. The other thing to consider too is maybe using ballistic points with ammunition. Hmm. What are these LRM 15s? This is 7 tons plus 1 damage. And it's 2 tons more than what our LRM 20 is. And it's the same size. So that's another option is we just put another LRM 15 in instead and save the LRM 20 and we put that back in the Warhammer. Although I was thinking about putting this LRM 20 in the Warhammer with the increased damage, damage accuracy and evasion. That's useless. Hmm. Bonus accuracy. This is bonus damage. So this would do 75 damage overall. This is doing 80 damage overall. So let's try that. Let's go with the LRM 15 instead. And we're half a ton over, so not a big deal. And that way we don't need the extra ammo. We're shooting 45 rounds. We got 500, so that's 11 turns. Just a little over 11 turns of firing. So it's a little better ammunition wise. Half a ton of armor can easily come off of here. So we could run 70 across the back. I think probably that's what we're going to do here. So let's try this out. I think it's a slight improvement from our old mech. Uh, we were running two pulse lasers and an LRM 20 and now we're running three LRM 15s instead. Heat wise, that's going to be a little better too, I believe. Yeah, another 14 onto that. Sorry, another 18 onto that is 95. So, I mean, we're only 9 heat over. And we can rotate out one of the LRMs if we had to. So, for now, we're going to go with this. Let's confirm this. 24 days, almost 200,000. Not too bad. So, there's our Orion built. Next thing we want to do is to have a look at our Warhammer now. Okay, so the Warhammer's got to get back up and running. Catapult we can leave kind of as it is right now, but this Warhammer we definitely want back. So let's refit this. We're going to drop our double heatsink kit back in this guy. And we're also going to do our Clan XL engine. We've got a nice juicy LRM20 that we're going to drop in here. So let's have a look first at what we know we want to put in. So we want the LRM20. I mean, we could go with the Clan LRM20. It's half as much weight, but I'm going to start with this guy. I like the uh, bonus accuracy damage and invasion ignore. 
So I'm going to drop that in for now. And let's have a look at our engines here. Let's go with a half decent size engine. So if we go to here, maybe we don't go full 250. We could go with 240. 14 and a half tons comparative to 15 and a half. And then when we get the XL engine, it'll save a little more if we go with this route. It doesn't need to be as fast. Although I believe our old one was here, but this, once again, this is a, just a big fire support max. So we're gonna drop our fusion core 240 in and our double heat sink kit because we definitely need that. Why do we have two of these here now? Oh, well, it's a double heat sink. Here we go. That's why. Because derp. All right. So we want to put in this guy. We want our, uh, where are we here? TC cockpit. We'll drop that in. We want to put our ECM warfare suite back in here. Uh, extra, light, extra light gyro. We've got endo steel that we want to drop in. We have the TTS plus two missile. However, we could go with the Artemis system. Let me think about this for a second. We're just going with a regular missile for now. And now we need big lasers on the arms here. So let's go to weapons real quick. Lasers. We want to add something large here. Uh, wish we had more. We got the medium clan pulse lasers. So we don't have a lot of exchangers, right? So that's the other thing too. Uh, we can buy one though. So we definitely want a PPC, I think, on each arm. We don't have quite the PPCs we want yet. So let's save 14 tons for that. I think we're going to pull the PPCs off of our other mechs and put them on here. Uh, so what are we at here? Not too bad. we got to drop our Clan XL engine in here. So let's do that. Just so I don't forget. So we've got another 14 on that. So it's 55 and a half. We're going to need some heat sinking. So let's go to the store real quick. We don't have any other exchangers, but we're definitely going to need it for this mech. So let's go down and buy, uh, where are we here? We could have, we could buy a heat bank too, right? These are pretty cheap right now. 316,000. That's probably a good idea. But we definitely want one of these guys. So let's buy that. Just start with that for now. Okay, so let's drop the exchanger in here for now. I'm going to just... I think before we finish building this, actually, let's just go back real quick. I think I, I want to pull out the PPCs that we're going to use from the other mechs. Because if I don't do that now, we're going to run into some problems. Okay, so the Hunchback, let's refit this guy real quick. We're going to pull out the arm weapon and the PPC off this guy. And I think probably the Clan Endo Steel as well. Once again, all our mechs are going to be refitted over, like, throughout everything. This guy is probably going to change to a ballistic... Um, shoulder mounted weapon. So we're going to pull out the PPC from here, the PPC capacitor. Let's pull out this arm weapon. Let's pull the exchanger out of here. Let's pull out the cooling pod. And let's pull out the clan endo steel. And let's pull out this TTS for the energy weapons and confirm this. Because I want to put those guys into the Warhammer. Okay, cool. The next thing we want to do is go to... Uh, where was our other PPC? Was it this guy? I thought we had another PPC here, a triple plus PPC, that we used for something. It wasn't on the Wolverine, was it? No. Those were mediums and those. Catapult? Did we put it in the catapult? I think we did, didn't we? We did. So let's refit this guy. We're going to pull it off the catapult. The catapult, I think, we're probably going to end up doing ult Clan Ultra 10s on each arm. I want to redo the cataract. I want to pull off that Ultra 10 that's on there and make him more, I think, into a laser boat. So we're going to pull a PPC off of here. Do we have a small exchanger? There's another cooling pod we can pull off of here for now. That exchanger we've already got. So let's go that route and confirm this. Okay. So now we can get to work on our Warhammer. Okay, here we go. So let's first of all go to equipment and let's outfit him with all the stuff that I know we need to put in. So we're going to put this arm weapon in this side, this arm weapon in this side. 
Uh, we might need Feral. I'm not 100% sure yet, but we want to go down. We definitely need the two exchangers. We need a Clan XL engine. We're going to need the... What did we say we were going to put in here? The 240 engine. So let's put that in for now. Let's get our XL gyro. Uh, definitely going to need the cooling pod, so let's drop these in here for now. The heatsink kit double, we want to drop that in because we're definitely going to need that because we're going to have a PPC capacitor. Let's put the endo steel in here. The plus two energy, definitely want to have that in here. Uh, possibility of plus two missile, I'm going to drop it in, but we'll see how it goes. And I'm really putting these on the wrong side because the LRM's got to go in there. And we want to go back up here. We want the ECM Warfare Suite was one of the things we were looking at. The Cockpit TC, let's drop that in. So let's move these over to this side. Just for now. Leave the PPC capacitor on this side for here for now. And then let's go to our weapons. And let's go to our PPCs first and drop those in. So we've got the triple plus PPCs that we're going to add. So both of these are plus 10 damage, times 2 stability, minus 1 recoil, minus 5 heat. So these overall are really good. So with the PPC capacitor in here, they're generating 42 heat each, so that's 84. But as you can see, our heat efficiency right now is still really, really good, right? We've got, so let's see here, minus 15%, minus 35%, plus another 8 is minus 43 percent heat right so we're dropping our heat significantly using those exchangers and the heat sink cooling pod so let's go here let's see what our lrm 20 in ammo is going to run us now so let's go and grab this guy so we're getting pretty close to being done here our armor is not quite maxed out but that's okay i mean we can add one more to the back if we wanted to just to even this up and then we're going to grab our ammo and let's go with, so we got plus one accuracy here, plus two missile accuracy. So we'll go with the accuracy ammo on this guy, I think. We were running dead fire ammo before. So maybe we go back to dead fire again. Because we got some pretty good accuracy already. It's plus three accuracy with this. So let's do that. Let's go back to the dead fire ammo. And we want to get at least, this is what, f at six turns and another five so it's 11 turns of firing so that's probably good enough and then what are we doing for heat now we got one ton left we still got room for ferrofibrous so let's drop that in see what that gives us room wise i mean the other thing too we could do is grab some stealth armor or something but i want to save that so we're going to go and drop this in and that uses up all our slots. So it's not really working. If we get clan um, uh, ferro fibers, that's definitely going to go in. I mean, we could do kinetic and energy, re kinetic resistance and minus energy resistance. It's really just a, I think it's better having energy and less kinetic. But, you know, it's a trade off, right? Depends on who you're facing. So it doesn't really make that much difference. Um, so maybe we just add, what are we at here again? 56. So we could just add another weapon system in here for now. Laser wise, what's, what's a good one ton laser weapon? ER laser, clan, medium, ER. Could just drop that in for now. I think probably that's the route to go. So overall, this platform doesn't have as much punch as the last one did because we just have regular PPCs here and not clan PPCs. But still, at 65 damage plus an extra 15%, so that's what, 6.5, 3.25, an extra 10 points. So it's going to be 74 damage probably per PPC. So that's not too bad, plus the LRM with dead fire in this. So it's not a bad platform. Uh, good armor, so it can slug out for a while. So let's just confirm this. 14 days. It's not too bad. Right. I'll get it in the schedule. Now we want to have a look at our catapult, which we've been having a problem with. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to our... If I can find him here. going to go to our cataract. 
All right, we're going to pull out our Ultra 10 clan weapon. And I'm really going for this guy because it just simply because of the weight on it. It's going to be a much better platform. So we're going to just confirm that and pull that out of here. All right, so let's have a look at our catapult now. Thinking what I might do now that I'm thinking about it is maybe making the Black Knight the leader of the second unit. And use the... Uh, the cataract is, or cataphract is uh, Heights Scout um, um, Mech. So let's pull out. Let's we strip everything. No, let's just pull stuff out here as we go. I want to keep the exchanger. Large lasers are going to. These lasers are going to come out. Ballistic stays in. So we've got two Clan Ultras now. Ultra tens, which we're going to drop in, and now we're already over. But we've got our. Do we have, I thought we had, did we not pull it out? We did not pull it out. All right, let's go back, sorry. Let's cancel this, or let's confirm out of this. We're gonna come back to this in a second. I thought we pulled out the other Clan XL engine from the Hunchback, but we did not, I guess. Because the Hunchback has got a Clan XL, which we want out of there. Okay, let's strip everything off this guy. Uh, there's not much left in here anyway. So we'll just strip it all off for now and confirm this. So I think what we, what we might do with that uh, hunchback is we've got that single fire AC um, AC twenty with the plus twenty damage and stability double stability damage. I think we might drop that in him and make him a traditional hunchback again. But for right now, let's go back to the catapult. We'll have a look at this guy again. So I want to make this guy a little closer in mech um, to deal good damage close up. Should be able to double click these off, but I guess you can't. Okay, so let's go with the, the two AC-10 Ultras like we said we were going to do. Now we do have, let's go to Equipment, and here, there's our XL engine. Let's drop that in. So we've already saved a ton of, ton of weight here. So let's have a look at our ammo, and let's pull out the regular heat sinks. We have a double heat sink core in here. So I do want this guy to be fast. Um, just going to pull out the regular heat sinks for now. We don't need them right away, so we'll pull them out just so we've got extra space. So let's go to our AC-10 ammo. Now we're going to need a fair bit of this. We're going to need at least 6 tons of AC-10 ammo. That's going to give us 12 turns of continuous fire, but we're also going to need case too. So I'm thinking that we're going to pull out the ferrofibers here, and we're going to use our case um, equipped uh, armor we're definitely going to need that so what's our armor at currently we're looking pretty good I think we can probably just do that for now all right so get the proper cockpit in there we do need an ECM of some sort in here ECM Guardian I think probably that's going to go in here for now uh, that's pretty good and what else do we have here uh, we got our ballistic. Do we have a plus one ballistic? I thought we did. No, we don't. Oh, that's fine. Okay, so let's go get our ammo. So we're going to load up the legs with ammo. Because um, we do have 150 armor on each leg. And AC-10 ammo. Here we go. So we're going to go one, two, three, four. And then probably we're going to put them on this side, five, six, and move this over here. So that's good enough for 12 turns of firing for each side. We're still really good at heat sinking wise. Alpha Strike is 38. So now we can look at putting some extra weapons in this guy. And I think I'm probably going to put in the clan pulse lasers. Uh, medium pulse laser clans. We've got a couple of those. We can put one on each side. And we're a little bit over in weight. Um, hmm. Do we have... I think we've got a patchwork material, don't we? We do. So we could drop that in and 0.25 tons left over. So heat, what are we at now for heat here? Heat sinking is 69, alpha strike is 67. So that's actually pretty good overall. Are we sure it's 67? That seems dubious to me here. 24 times 2 is 48, plus another 36 is 84, minus 20% is let's say 16 off of that 
so it's C 74 68 what does it say 67 yeah that's okay that's correct all right so that's not too bad is it better than the last build I'm not sure yet I think overall the damage is slightly higher but uh, we'll have to see how we're doing with uh, being able to connect with shots here. I did want to drop in though. Uh, we've got a little bit of weight left. So let's go here. And we've got a ballistic shoulder mount. So let's drop that in. And we've got to take 0.75 tons off. Which shouldn't be too much of a problem. Um, let's see here. 185 CT, I think, probably would be enough. You think? 190? Let's go this route. See how it does. So we got good heat efficiency. Firepower has gone way up, it looks like, compared to what it was before. Maximum damage is 190. It's actually more than that. So it's 60 times 2 is 120, 240. And then if we get maximum damage, well, it's average of 35, so it's another 70, so it's 310. So that's pretty good overall for damage. So let's confirm this guy. So there's our third mech. Right. All right, now, the last mech we wanted to do, we said we wanted to outfit the uh, um, cataract here as our, basically, scout mech for this lance. So let's have a look here. We've still got the XL engine on this. PPC triple plus. Now, does this guy have... He's got no missile hard points, one ballistic five laser so we pulled out the AC 10 off this guy so our heat sinking is really good on this guy still ECM Guardian is in there so let me think about this for a second so let's go to our equipment we wanted to add in our stealth armor to make them a little more stealthy and we do have a big engine in here so we can get some pretty good speed off them. I wonder if we can get a bigger core in there though. It's Fusion Core 300. What do we have core wise? I think we got a bigger one than that, don't we? We've got a 380. And that's single heat sink 380. That'll save a lot of space if we go this road. But it's 24 and a half tons. And this one is 14 and a half. So I think we probably leave the 300 in there. I can't see going bigger than that. That'll just cause problems. Okay, so let's see what else we have that we can add in here to round this guy out a little bit. We can either go with more laser lasers, or we can go with something ballistic. But we don't have a lot of tonnage left over. We've got, what, 13 tons left? So ballistic-wise, we'd have to be very careful. So let's go to our weapons here. It'd be kind of nice if we could get a rotary in, but this guy's supposed to be a close-range mech. So the rotary's no good. We're saving this guy here, so we're not using that. I don't think ballistic-wise, other than like, just like a like an Ultra 5. But even then, that's not really going to be giving us much 240 pinpoint damage for 9 tons plus ammo. Hmm, so let's look at lasers then. What do we have here that we could add? We got our large, 55 damage, 30 heat. Accuracy, evasion ignore. This is 60 damage for less weight, but it's less accurate. Hmm. Height really hasn't been suffering from accuracy problems, although we could pull this PPC, although it does have that stability damage. That's really, really nice. However, we do have that on the Warhammer, so we don't really have to worry about it so much on height. So we'll be saving heat, doing a little less damage, but saving a lot of space. So let's do that. Let's pull this out, put the uh, clan large uh, ER in here. So we've got 260 pinpoint damage weapons. And what else do we have now? Do we have we've got re regular medium pulse lasers? I mean, we could stock up on medium pulses. What's our heat like right now? Not too bad. Why our Alpha Strike is at 56. Shouldn't that be less? Oh, these are 35 each, right? Okay. So, if we go medium pulses, we, we could. I mean, if we drop a medium pulse in each arm, 
And then let's say... I mean, we could go ER mediums too, but we're going to be close range. We want to make sure we're hitting. Small pulses have a lot of heat, like very little damage compared to the medium pulses. Um, hmm. Six tons left over, eh? Definitely need the double heat sinks. What are we at here for heat sinking? How's the Alpha Strike at 56 now with medium pulse lasers in there? Oh, I see, because this got swapped out, that's why. I can't put a medium pulse in that arm. I have to go in the torso. Yeah, it's 84 now. So maybe it is an alternate ballistic build here. Two ER larges. Stealth armor, endo steel. What can we afford to lose out of here? The heat bank, do we really need it? Let's pull that for now. Let's leave the medium pulses in the torsos. Heat efficiencies drop, but that's okay for now. We've got the tag in the arm. I mean, we could go with like haywire. Or Narc Beacon even. That might even be better. Like if we put a Narc in the arm. That's going to help out. Then we need heat sinking. This guy is still really underwhelming. Hmm. Maybe we pull out the endo steel. It's eating up a lot of slots. And we don't really need it right now. Right? We definitely need more heat sinking and stuff right now more than anything. So two larges for 60 each. Medium pulses. Um, I mean, if we're going to get in close with guys, we could go with plasma lances in the arms instead of what we have. We could throw the narc beacon in here. And this would definitely increase the point blank damage. But that means we have to get right in close with people, right? If we're punching above our weight, though, maybe we want to do that, get right in on top of somebody. Cataract's got pretty good armor overall. Wouldn't be too afraid to do that. Speed's still pretty good. Ballistic wise, I mean, I could drop a machine gun in here with a half load of ammo. But our heat has gone way down. If we fire both plasma lances, it's going to be like a lot of heat, right? So we're looking at melee mech then if we do this. And I've been trying to stay away from melee mechs. Not a big fan. I just think punch bots are just weird. Alright, so let's go with Narc Beacon. Let's put our tag back in. I mean, we could take the ER large out and put our PPC back in. Slightly more effective. And then just go with the rest with heat sinks. And maybe a small laser. So what do we have small laser wise? We have an ER small. Same weight. Slightly better to hit. This is only a 3 heat less but for a little bit less damage. So we could do that. Oh, right, we have to put it in the arm, don't we? Uh, medium pulse goes back in here. So we got 3 tons left over for heat sinking. So let's go to equipment and heat sinks. What are we at here? Yeah, so let's get some double heat sinks in here. Let's get the regular heat sink in the leg. Uh, double heat sink can go in here. And then perhaps a double heat sink in this arm. And then a regular heat sink in the other leg. So what are we at here? Yeah, it's not too bad. It's about the same as the other guys are um, Orion. So that's okay. 
Let's go with this for now. We don't have any bonus to hit items in here. I mean, we could pull a Narc Beacon out and go with um, a targeting system. And another heatsink, maybe. So let's pull this out. And let's go to the store. And let's get a plus two energy targeting system. So let's go all the way down here. Plus two energy. Not too bad price wise. We're gonna have to watch our cash now. We're getting pretty low. We have to sell a few things, I think. We do have mech parts we can sell if we had to. So let's go here and then let's go down to plus two energy. Let's bring that in. Swap it out with the exchanger, I think. Exchanger's gonna go here and then plus two energy in the head. Okay, we got two tons left over. I think maybe we're going to pull out one double heat sink, move it over to the arm. We're going to bring back our heat bank. And then we will... Can we throw another tag in? We can. Let's throw two tags in, because then we can tag two different units at the same time. Heat efficiency should be good now. Yep. I think that's how we're going to run this. I think that's probably an okay build. So yeah, let's go this route and see how see how that works out. So it was only thirteen thousand to do this, simply because everything was still kind of already in here. All right, so that's our main lance up and running. And I think I'll leave the episode here for today. We have enough to make it through the next financial report. And what I'll do is the next episode when we come back, we'll go through and make sure that our main lance gets, ooh, we'll be one day short of, let's see here. Can we work this a little better? Let's manage our tasks a bit better here. 24 days, want 14, then 11. Yeah, it's probably the best way to do it. 25, yeah. I can't think of any other way to do this. That's probably good. Okay, so when we come back next time, we'll have everything back in action. We'll be one day away from the financial report. And then what we'll do is we will work on... Actually, if we have a look at our ship upgrades, we might be able to knock off another quick uh, repair here. So that's 270,000. Let's go to our bays. We're going to have a look at our... Actually, you know what? Let's go to the store. Because we've got a couple of mechs lying around that I don't think we're going to need. I've been hesitant to sell them because I you know, I know we want to build a couple of other lances. We still have the light lance we have to build that we started working on, but then we had to stop. Uh, but I think what we'll do, once we get into the store, we're going to go to sell. Alright, so we want to keep the butcher. That's we, We're planning on making that the leader of our light lance and then we were going to use fire starter panther and the venom so i'm thinking that the this vindicator here can go we don't really need it anymore so let's sell that and i think the trebuchet 7k can go uh it, i don't with only one missile hard point i like the trebuchets being missile launching platforms we're going to be moving the 5s out of the lineup we're replacing it with the Kentaro. So I'm thinking that we don't need this one anymore. So let's just sell this as well. So now we've got some good operating capital. We'll be able to go for a couple of months. So probably what I'll do here is let's go to the engineering ship upgrades. And we're going to get our last um, repair scaffolding thing right. going here. Thingy. And then that'll be done partway through the month, and then it'll we'll make sure that we're underneath the uh, the next financial report. So yeah, so we're gonna leave the episode here. When we come back next time, we'll be ready to roll, and we'll be ready to outfit our secondary lance. So if you like the episode, please feel free to leave a like. Uh, if you have any questions about how I laid stuff out and why I did it the way I did it, please ask away. Um, if you have any suggestions for mech loadouts. Please also uh, include those in the comments. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. So I'll see you all next time.